Good morning. I woke up around 6.30 this morning on my own because <laughs> I went to bed so early and uh, I just got up and walked the dog, making myself some coffee, getting ready for day two on the river. Uh, but I won't be coming back to this motel. I'll be heading off in another direction. Um, don't know where. Now I'm going to do the thing of I'm um, just going to see where the road takes me and I'll be spending nights in different places till I get back home on Sunday. Anyhow, I'm having a blast. I realized something as I was walking the dog this morning that before, you know, sunrise, um, there's light in the sky, but I realized I must be in much better shape because I'm not as sore as I thought I would be. Um, a little tightness in the shoulders, but not too bad. And, um, yeah, I guess all this walking and exercising I've been doing for this last year, especially this last, since I started the virtual challenge where I'm really pushing myself, has gotten me in much better shape than I realized. So, yay for that. Still overweight, but, you know, nine miles of rowing <laughs> was a lot of exercise. And I've been doing all these massive walks, so yay for me, because I needed to be in better shape as far as cardiovascularly. Anyway, I am going to make myself a little breakfast. Um, I have a little microwave here, so I've got one of those Jimmy Dean's hash brown with sausage and gravy stuff that you can pop in the microwave and do that. Making myself coffee, uh, load up the car, load up the dog, and head back to the river. I'll update you as more adventures happen. Bye! This phone is acting funny because it won't turn off. <laughs> Try it. I don't know if banging around on the river that much caused it. Oh well. I am at Buffalo River Float Service getting ready to get uh, my boat and start heading out. But I thought I'd show you this place because it's pretty cool. There's a neighbor dog that's barking, but this is the sign. And. This is the location, and I bought myself a t-shirt souvenir, so anyway, I'll update you guys once I am on the river. Talk to you later. Bye. I am back on the river with the dog. Yay! There she is. There's some more bluffs. This time there's people way behind me. And they're all like, oh my god, I didn't know you could take a dog onto the river. And she's looking back at them. You can see how beautiful this water is and how it's just reflecting. It's just spectacular. I say spectacular and gorgeous a lot, but it is. Even the dog is admiring it. The dog is going to jump. My dog has decided to swim and lead the boat. <laughs> and she's doing a pretty good job. She's such a natural swimmer, but I think she's heading off to shore now that I'm going past this rock <laughs> that she was leading the boat. Ah, uh, go figure. So, this river doesn't have the... Maj it's still pretty majestic, but all these amazing bluffs at this section of the river. I'm more up upstream from where I was yesterday, but the river is moving a little bit more swiftly. There's all these boulders in the water that make the water run just a little bit more quickly and therefore paddling I don't have to paddle as much which is cool but I'm taking a break in a much needed shade unfortunately <laughs> I left my sunscreen in the car so fortunately I'm, I'm, I'm rowing to the shaded areas as much as possible and trying to cover up my knees anyway I'm just this enormous bug just landed on my glove and look at it. I am not going to disturb it. I'm gonna, I think it's attracted to the orange and it's walking on me. And I have a thing for ugly critters, especially stinging ones, which this looks like it might be, but I will leave it be, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, though it looks more like a wasp. Anyway, but here I am, the dog is running around and I'm just trying to avoid the this bug biting me or stinging me. <sighs> I will see you guys later. Bye. The bug flew away.
It's wonderful to see wildlife. I have seen more turtles in the water and fish too, because the water is so crystal clear. But to see a blue heron is just wonderful. My dog is napping. You can see she's got a bone that she didn't even eat because she's been so excited watching everything. What is amazing about this place is the pools of water are so clear and I have seen more tortoises and, or I guess turtles since they swim in the water and fish. And of course this reflecting river, spectacular. As I said many a time. I'm almost at the end. Ah, I can say I did this river. Yay. Tortoises. Or not tortoises, turtles on the water in the spectacular scenery, taking in the sun. And my dog, exhausted. It's beautiful. I have arrived at the end of my boat trip. Ah, oh, spectacular, as always, as I've said 20 million times. And this is where I leave the boat. This is where it came from. A bridge. Just a magnificent trip. Bucket list done. Even the dog is like, I don't want to get out of the boat. <laughs> She's enjoyed it so much as I have. So I don't know where I'm heading off to next. I'm going to just get in the car and see what towns are south from here. And uh, maybe I'll go to Little Rock. I don't know what I put here next video you'll I'll maybe let you know where I'm at. So I have arrived as well as the dog to Little Rock, Arkansas. Why not? I have not been in this town since I think the 70s. I think we were traveling up to visit my grandmother. We took this route one time from Mexico to Chicago and we stopped in Little Rock. So I thought I'd visit the city. Why not? I don't know where I'm spending the night yet, but that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do hit Expedia, see what last minute offers are on hotels or motels and camp out for the night and maybe explore the town tomorrow. I did what I meant to do on this vacation. So now the last few days, it's kind of just wander from place to place and explore. So I decided why not go to Little Rock? So I am here. Catch you later. So I'm walking the wonderful little river walk that is in Little Rock uh, next to the Arkansas River, as you can see over my shoulder. And uh, the dog and I are doing this walk like she didn't get enough exercise or I got enough exercise, but she's wanting to run, which I will do in a minute. But I thought I'd film and video this because it's lovely. Let me turn the camera around so you can get a view of this walkway. And it's just lovely park area. It's nicely lit. And then you get the beautiful Arkansas River. Uh, you can actually walk across it at one. There's a special bridge that they've made, like, fun to walk across. So I'm going to explore that. But it's a lovely little park that just goes on and on. And uh, so a lot of people more behind me but um yeah it's a little splash pool here for kiddos i guess when it gets hot and uh i'm gonna drop down to the river level because you can actually drop down to the river hopefully this dog won't jump in the river since she's such a water dog but anyhow i'll update you guys later and look at that sunset i wish the camera could capture it better but it's quite spectacular I am on the Junction Bridge connecting Little Rock to North Little Rock. And I'm over the water at this point. If you can see the double arch bridge in the background, that's where I was, where the sculpture garden was. And there's downtown Little Rock. And there's my Little Rock. You have to climb quite a few flights of stairs to get to this pedestrian bridge since they're not operating the elevator due to COVID-19. But the dog and I were determined to get some exercise. Like we haven't had enough today. So, 
getting an evening workout. It's not that late, though. It's like 7.30. Right now, it's just got, it's getting darker earlier. And I'm further east than Dallas, so of course, it gets darker earlier here, but the sun gets up earlier in this part of the country since I'm closer to the eastern time zone now. Not that Little Rock is that close, but you know what I mean. It's further, definitely further east than Dallas. So anyway, I'm going to U-turn and head on back. Get some water. They have water fountains in the park, but unlike in Dallas where they, you know, you can push them and it takes five seconds and they sprout water, these are all turned off. So I need something to drink. Bye. So I am downtown uh, Little Rock in the River Marketplace area, and I had to get some ice cream. Hillwinds. But guess who else got some ice cream? Yeah. The Puppers. I gave her a cup of vanilla. She loves vanilla ice cream. And she was such a good dog, I thought I'd let her enjoy a scoop of ice cream. This dog is spoiled because this is premium, not cheap ice cream. <laughs> One scoop was like almost five bucks. So, yeah, she's getting gourmet ice cream. But this is a nice little area here in Little Rock. So, I uh, didn't even know this existed, but it's a lot of gotta bars and restaurants. Midweek, not many people. Um, they're enforcing the mask rule here in Little Rock, but about 50% of the people are actually complying. But all the businesses said you're required to wear a mask. So people are putting them on when they go into the business. But, um, um, so it seems like this part of Little Rock, everybody is complying, but in other areas, it didn't seem like as much. So I guess like any other big city. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I'm in my motel. I'm staying at an Econo Lodge because it was inexpensive and they allow dogs. Um, my thoughts. So there's the dog asleep, the bed. I mean, visual, I just finished watching the debates. I mean, the room is basic and nice. I mean, it's nice. To be, some interior designer had a touch with it, but looks good. But when you start looking up close, it's like there's so many scuff marks on the walls. At least the bathroom is clean. Um, the Ozark Motel and RV that I stayed in, the one thing I have to say about that place, it probably was the most spotless motel of, or hotel I've ever stayed in. Come to find out that the owner used to be a nurse. Because I thought that that bathroom was so absolutely spotless. I mean, the whole motel room. Though not elegant, it was the cleanest motel I've ever been in. This one, the bed is okay. The bathroom's okay. Mm -hmm. um, but then I'm not paying much. So, But it's interesting because this is a chain motel. You would think they'd have a higher standard. Uh, but it is an Econo Lodge. Anyway, but my thoughts. I'm ready to crash. Uh, my thoughts on the debate. It was kind of boring, honestly. Kamala was seemed to be very restrained so that she could appear presidential. And Pence did what he does very well and deflect questions and not answer, but still sound empathetic and somehow a little bit warm, you know. So, sorry. Uh, to cover the screen. <laughs> but um, I don't think it changed anybody's mind. Um, I kept feeling, knowing Kam uh, Kamala Harris, I just kept wanting her to uh, say something in response. I think the moderator was awful because she didn't clock anybody when they didn't answer the questions. And she gave Mike Pence way too much extra time because he just was not following the rules. She went over a little bit, but not like he did. But anyhow, my thoughts. I'm having a great time on my vacation, so I'm gonna turn in, so like this video, ring the notification bell, so you can be notified every time I upload another video, and wear your mask, and fill out your census, and have a good night. Ah!